Shri Krishna. My name is Abhigya and I am 10 years old. My many thanks to Dr. Chakritar Friend who has allowed me to take up a diploma course in Vedic Microbiology. So today, after reading his book titled Vedic Microbiology, I would like to explain the third chapter which has many suktas out of which I should say the third sukta named Krimigna. <coughs> this sukta has 13 shlokas and its devata is Indra. Its composer is Rishikandva and all the mantras in this sukta have been composed in Anishtap meter except for first and third mantras which are composed in Virat meter. <coughs> its kanda is pancham and anuvak is also pancham. Sukta is number 23. So the importance of this sukta is that the mantras in this sukta give us information about the distinction between the male and female genders of, <coughs> of microorganisms. It also tells us that the sun is a natural eliminator of all bad microorganisms and also <coughs> it gives information about the ways to kill the microbes. So we shall begin with the first mantra. Mantra number one. Ote Medya Vaprithivi Ota Devi Saraswati Otau Ma Indrascha Gnishcha Krimim Jambhayatamiti The meaning of this is that Sun and earth are interwoven for me. Divine knowledge is meant for me. Electricity and fire are intermingled for me. May all these destroy the worms. This is my prayer. So we shall see the mantra number two. Asyendra Kumarasya Krimin Dhanapati Jahi Hata Vishwa Arataya this means that O oh, opulent physician kill the microbes that are, are preying upon this boy all the malignant worms have been smitten by my potent Vedic word mantra number 3 yo akshau parisarpati yo nase Sarpati Datam ya madhyam gachati Tam krimim jambhayamasi We utterly destroy the worm that creeps around the eyes, the worm that crawls about the nose, the worm that gets between the teeth. So the explanation of this mantra is that this mantra has two terms in it. Parisarpati for locomoting of uh, no, for locomotion of microbes in the eyes and nose. Gachati for locomotion of microbes between the teeth. So, uh, this mantra also can be interpreted in terms of pathogenic organisms and normal flora of the same organs. The normal flora of these organs are starting with eyes, that is S. epidermis, S. aureus, nose, S. aureus, S. epidermis and teeth um, are um, see, microbes of the genera Fusobacterium and also uh, of oral spirochetus treponema and also um, bacterioides uh, melaninogenicus and also trichomonas tenax, a flagellated protozoan. So these are the normal flora and the pathogenic organisms are <coughs> and the pathogenic organisms are of the eyes Nesidia gonorrhea, Chlamydia trachomatis and Acanthamoeba. 
uh, also of the nose are coronaviruses and rhinoviruses and also um, see, microbes affecting the respiratory tract and of the teeth are streptococcus mutans which causes dental caves. So we shall begin with the fifth mantra. No, the fourth mantra. Saru pau dvau viru pau dvau Krishna dvau rohita dvau Babhrushcha babhru karnascha Gurudrah kokascha tehata This means that Two worms of like color, two of unlike color. Two black, two colored black, two colored red. The tawny and tawny eared worm, uh, vulture and wolf all have been killed. So here, vulture and wolf all have been killed. Mentions that worms, ferocious in nature, like the vulture and wolf, have been killed. Mantra number five. Ye, ye krimaya, ye krimaya shiti kaksha, ye krishna shiti bahava, ye ke cha vishwarupaha, tan krimin jambhayamasi. It means that um, the worm which is of white hue and, and the black worm which has white hued arms and, and the worms that show various tints and hues these worms we utterly destroy mantra number six utpurastat surya eti vishwadrishto adrishtaha drishtanscha gnanna drishtanscha sarvanscha pramrnam Krimin here eastward the sun is rising seen by all destroys worms unseen and kills worms invisible and visible too so the explanation is that the sun is a natural eliminator of all bad microorganisms um, especially the sun is lethal to tubercule bacillus so, mantra number seven. Yeva shasa kashka shasa e jatka shipa vitnuka drishta sha hanyatam krimin drishta sha hanyatam krimin ta drishta sha hanyatam. This means that slain is the fast moving of worms, highly painful. Trembling, shining, trembling, and highly injurious worms. We have killed them all, or just well, crushed them. And number uh, mantra number eight is Hato Yeva Chakramiram Hato Nadani Mota Sarva Hato Nadani Mota. Sarvan nimashmashakaram drushada khalvahiva. This means that uh, slain is the fast moving of worms. Slain is also the crying worm. We have reduced them all to dust like wetches with the grinding stone. Explanation is that here two terms have been used. One is yevasha. So yevasha means that uh, the fast moving of worms. And Nadani Moth indicates uh, the uh, see, communication between worms where uh, the crying worm is mentioned. And uh, uh, in reference is Koram Sensei. Ninth Mantra Trishir Shanam Trikakudam Krimim Saranga Marjunam Shranam Yasya Prishti Rapi this means that the worm, white of hue, is the spotted worm and with three heads, with a triple hump. I split and tear his ribs away and rent off every head he has. And uh, here, 
uh, there's no explanation, but I would like to say something that uh, the next three shlokas, no, no, the next 